Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the new update for the Revit 2022. This update not changing dramatically our game, but I found this update really interesting for the community. So today we're gonna talk about what Autodesk changed in Revit 2022. If you want right now update uh, your Revit to the newest uh, 2022.1, you should go to the uh, Autodesk application and you will get the update there. If you are using not legal version of the Revit, sorry, I cannot explain how you can update for the newest version of the 2022 Revit. So if you are ready, let's get started. The first thing is uh, now we can export and import our models uh, by for the format. As you know, the format is something like uh, the SketchUp but for ROM after desk, uh, and we can making the equal between these two programs. SketchUp have a lot of the plugins. Without the plugins, SketchUp it's just a drafting thing, but with the plugins, it's a really powerful thing. Format right now also they have the same thing. It's have a lot of different plugins. So how it's working? You have the model. Uh, doesn't matter which one you're going to the messing and site and here you will find the 3d sketch and here if you will read in the writing like format let's click on that and let's launch now our format uh, it's a bit take the time so here we are as you can see format on the right screen so here is our model as you can see and here is the format let me I will maximize the uh, window of the format and as you can see here is our model so what we can do first i want to say this is working really pretty fast as you can see it's not lagging nothing but the format is mostly about the sketching not about the final work anyway what we can do for in format for example you have uh, you want to create some detail here uh, in Revit you should create the family or mess in place or, or I mean the model in place or the same messing so this is a lot of the work not for the Revit Revit is a BIM program it's not about the design let's say here you can for example let's I will place here the some primitives I not will show you how the format working if you are working in the SketchUp I as I said, it's pretty equal. So I did some, uh, I don't know, some shape here, doesn't matter which one. And why I need that? So I did it in format, but I'm working in Revit. This is the reason. Now I can send my changes to the Revit. For example, I finish here the some detail. Now I can send it to the Revit. Yes, I want to send it only the visible things. And if I will go back to the Revit, I found it here the some some model. If I will try to select this model, this is not any more generic model or some external one. This is for uh, format geometry. This is mean uh, it's something like a cut geometry. But anyway, now we have the parade category for this geometry. This is pretty nice. Uh, if you continue the changing, for example, if I will continue to change the Maya model like this, maybe, and if I will send it again, as, I, as you can see right now, it will be now have here the two models. So you should be, be careful with that. But if you want to, uh, as I said, the, another tutorial, just let me know. I will do one more tutorial about the format. So now you are able to use the format. Uh, if you will go back to the format, you will find here the, a lot of the plugins. So I just want to show you like the format. It's now pretty equal to the uh, to the SketchUp. Another cool thing what uh, we get now in new Revit, in I mean, in new update for the new Revit, this is now we can export not only to the FBX file or something like FBX, as you can see here is the FBX, here is the IFC, if you will install the Lumen plugin you can export it by, to the Kalada file, but now you can able to export to the OBG and STL file, so this is really cool because OBG files using the, I think mostly, mo most of the programs using the OBG files which is working with the 3d graphics if you will go to the obg you can see you can use the resolution you have have here the some uh, units and you can export your geometry without any big problem i will export my geometry it will take a bit of time and i will open microsoft uh, standard viewer for the obg it will stay the time let me i will skip it so here we are as you can see we get two files we get our obg geometry and we get the materials and as you can see here is our model yes it's rotated but uh, it's not about the, how we can place our pivot point it's about our model as you can see this is pretty cool model now we can use it in for example 3d max or we can transfer this model or even the to the sketchup or the some other programs so the new one more new format to the expert our geometry this is a really cool thing what i uh, i found in the new update another new feature this is small thing but it maybe will help you 
now we able to snap between two points for example you have two objects like that and you wanna place another one here exactly on the middle between two of these objects uh, you have a lot of ways how you can do that you can even use the line dimensions to achieve this result but now you can do it without any something third things now you can select only your object you can go to the for example copy or move doesn't matter now i will copy it and now after the, you will copy it just uh, place on your keyboard s and two you will get this uh, now tool now you should select the first point and the second point and the middle point it will be there your object I will place it and here is my object as you can see exactly on the middle uh, if you want to know more about the snapping and how to use it go to the manage and you will find here the snaps and here is some some more tools how you can snap it but the snap mid to two, between two points you will find it here as and two so but you should use it after you will use the tool tool for example the move or the copy and yes finally now we can duplicate our views without i mean sheets without any problem because in the previous uh, version if i will go for example to the revit 2020 for example i want to duplicate the sheets right click i will go to duplicate and you're not able to do that yes we have the some uh, for example external tools like uh, pi revit or something else but this is not the revit tools so if you will go back now to the new one revit 2022 .1, now if I want to for example uh, duplicate my uh, sheet I'm going to the right click duplicate sheet and as you can see we have the few already knowing uh, ways how we can duplicate it now we give for example I want to duplicate she she empty sheet and as you can see here is empty sheet exactly on the same position so you don't need now care about that so this is a really a small cool future what we are really waiting really long time and finally after desk thinking about the beam managers and beam coordinators so if you are working with the family and you want to create some few uh, same parameters for example you're going to the properties you're not able to copy it you should create it again and again and again and again so this is really terrible things but right now in the new in 2022.1 you are able to copy the parameter as you can see now we get the new tool now we can for example select one parameter and just duplicate it so so here is the the same parameter you don't need the spend time with the sum the suffix which is you can change it's not all the futures what was changed but this is main one which is i found really interesting for the my community so if you want to read more changes just go to the website after desk and uh, read the changes or i will leave the link below the video which is you can go by the link and uh, check what was changed in the new version of the revit but mostly nice thing which is i found this is if you will go back this is uh now we can working with the messing in revit by sketching so i mean uh, we can sketch idea our idea in the format and without any big problem transfer to the Revit and back so this is uh, now opening the new future for the feasibility part and uh, you don't need thinking where you can start your project you can start project even with the messing now in Revit Revit and the format of course if you found this tutorial really interesting uh, let me know below the comments if you want to know more about the uh, format uh, just uh, let me know below the comments and I will try to create the new tutorials maybe complete tutorial in format and Revit how you can start work with two these programs in one thank you guys for watching and see you next time